Alright, so yas guys, uh, I'm gonna be starting a new series called, um, you know, recording at school, Roy's, or Rat Roy's, so it's gonna be called Rat Roy's, it's gonna be, uh, the second season of recording at school, and, you know, I don't feel like recording at school that often, there's a chance I might even end the series early, you know, because it's crazy how the, the first season was stuck on the same season from uh, 2018 up until uh, the beginning of 2024 or early 2024. It was crazy. It was stuck at the same season for nearly six years. 60 years pretty much. And y'all guys. So, recording at school or rat season two or or the name of the second season will be called uh, Rat Roy. So, to the edge pretty much. Y'all guys about to. Y'all. All right. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So Rat Roy's enjoyed the the second season of Rat or recording at school, and this gotta be the first episode of the second season, guys. Yaws, big W's. Happy Marvelous Monday. Happy Marvelous Monday. I love it, man. We have awesome buddies. Are you having a Marvelous Monday? Uh, I think so. You are having a Marvelous Monday? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have fun, Mika? I think so. Thank <laughs> you. 
downstairs. So I can barely walk today. My back hurts a lot. Oh, yeah. My legs. Three days? I don't know what those are. Every day.
do I have another question I want to ask? Um, there's two brothers, Ted and Jamie, both sway. Yes. Which brother is the younger brother? Uh, Ted. Which one's the younger brother, Jose? Uh, Jamie. Jamie is the younger brother. Yeah. Which one's the younger brother, Jesus?
Snickers. Thank you. What kind do you want? Snickers, M&M, Twix. Twix. And after we get textual evidence, what do we do next? That's right, the claim. Dang, what kind do you want? You have to take one. I'm good, sir. Just these. <laughs> yes, I do want to do these. So we first find our sexual evidence and then we make our claims. Yes, Martin? I'm going to do this. What? Oh, yeah. I'm going to do that. All right? So get your sexual evidence, identify your claims, and then just write a quick take some of this paragraph, guys. Should be pretty easy, right guys? Uh, please, yes, please, yes, it's super easy, Mr. Daniels. We worked all first quarter just identifying thesis statements and being able to do on topic answers by practicing comprehension questions. And then second quarter, we practiced just eight, seven sentence paragraphs. And now we're set up for success and being able to write a paragraph in a period. Because we know you guys can do it. Don't make it harder than it is. What? Find your textual evidence, identify your claim, and start writing. Okay? You guys got this. Guys, one paragraph, eight sentences. We're getting this done in a period today, okay? Then tomorrow we're moving on. Dude, it's so funny. You guys can all have accurate this to me when I say tomorrow, but when I'm explaining an assignment, you guys tune me out. It's ridiculous. What? Whose side are you on? I know she's on your guys' side. I get in trouble all the time when I try to do like do my job and like teach. She said, don't don't be so mean to them. <laughs> Why don't you be their bestie? Simon. You know Jimmy? What? You know Jimmy? Yeah. I want to see what's up to you. I want to send the video to you. What? I
guys, remember when you write. Thank you. Remember when you write. You don't need to reread everything. You don't need to go back. You need to find textual evidence to support your opinion. That's all. So don't make it harder. You don't need to reread the whole story. What textual evidence supports my opinion of Jamie should have lied for his brother or Jamie should lie for his brother? You just need one piece of textual evidence to support your opinion and then start writing on it. It does have to read from the story, yeah. But if you didn't read the story, I can tell you this. This is a pretty easy writing prompt to write on. Because, you know, and not just for you, but for everybody. But if you have integrity, you're probably going to say, yeah, you shouldn't lie for his brother, right? And then you can use very uh, easy textual evidence. Truth and only the truth, right? Pretty simple, you could use that.
I need help on the fifth one. That looks amazing, dude. Really good job. Wow. Is it getting easier to follow that paragraph format? Kind of. You're doing great, brother. My left, my left calf going all the way up. It's like a little bit of a knot in it. I can't even sit. Like, move. I know I'm looking like really old, like I can't even like do that. I was walking around earlier and I was like, it's like, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Are you coloring back there? Oh, good. I thought you had her coloring now too. I thought you had her drawing flowers. So I was like, no. Scribbling. Just scribbling? Just scribble out a missing assignment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, so you did awesome. I really like your intro. I really like how you talked about the story. Yeah. Right? It tied in nicely to your says and great textual evidence. Chloe was saying that Ted really needs to put herself so badly in order to not get arrested for it. Awesome. So this quote demonstrates how well. I'd say just going off what you said, and you can change the words. I'm going to give my words, okay? Yeah. And then you can change it. So this quote demonstrates how Ted and his lawyer put Jamie in a very difficult decision to make, right? Yeah. In which he had to test his integrity. Right? Yeah. And those are my words. What would your words sound like? What do you think? Uh, and you can use my words if you want. Yeah. Wait, okay. who has to test her integrity? Huh? Wait, who has to test her integrity? Who what? Who tested the integrity or something? Integrity? Who tested the integrity? Yeah, it was Jamie. So, Jamie, no, no, Ted and his lawyer. Ted got an accident and then his lawyer asked Jamie to lie. You could even get even more involved in it too, Matt. If you want, you say this quote demonstrates how Jamie was put in a tough situation, right? That tests his integrity. Yeah. Ultimately, or do y'all say ultimately? That's why. 
ultimately, Jamie decided that he didn't want to sacrifice his integrity because he had worked too hard for his college. Remember, he was going to go to Yale. He got a full scholarship to go to co Yale, a very yeah. prestigious college, right? Yeah. And he knows he could have lost all those things for lying for his brother. Because then it has even more meaning, huh? Yeah. Yep. Are you cool? You got it? Yeah, thank okay. you. You're welcome.
form because Jamie wants to tell the truth, so this would be like your set sentence. And this photo is important because what did you say? <coughs> Check my paragraphs. Yeah, can I check up here for the office and you'll know? Thank you. 
Imagination. Like right now, I'm just imagining what you have in your hand. Attention after school, Saturday. 